Hello, everyone. It's your boy, Brandon, from Audio Addiction. We have Therese and Alex again. We're doing a Monday one. I feel like uh, we'll give you the schedule, so it's... I feel like we're going to do, like, every other Monday, if that's possible. We'll, we'll keep you updated on what's going on, but that's the plan. It's a tentative plan, you know, like an asterisk next to it. But Wednesdays will <laughs> still be... Wednesdays will still be a Wednesday thing, but uh, we are doing Craxy, which... Shout outs to Cloud. I know he was very excited about it, so I'm sure he's going to be in the chat. But um, I don't know it. Much like every other video we've done, I don't know anything about Craxy. So is, can you give me a little bit of a lowdown, Alex or Therese? Yeah, I'll give you uh, basically like some footnotes. I also, for reference, don't know a ton about Craxy. I'm familiar with the music and I know like a little bit about them, but. By no means do I know everything about them. So I'm going to be referencing some of like their profile information and stuff and kind of like guessing on some stuff myself. Mm -hmm. um, so none of us are, are truly experts on Craxy, but I uh, enjoy the music a lot. I enjoy their, their production with their the producer they work with now. So I figured they were a good group to get into. Um, so they are a group under... SI SAI Entertainment. I okay. think they changed that recently because I know it used to be like something weird like SA Tainment or something like some weird company name. Um SAI Entertainment is a company now. They currently are a four member group. Mm, okay. Um they recently let a member go. I, I think that's the way to say it. Uh, she was removed from the group. I will say that. Oh, there is no explanation. She she did not leave the group. She was removed from the group. That's all I know about it. Okay. Um, but that was after their last release, so there's no music out as a four piece. Not yet, as far as oh. I know. Okay. Yeah. So everything we'll be looking at today will be up until their most recent music as a five piece still. Um. So. We have uh, Uwa, which is their leader, Karen, uh, Hajin, and Swan. Uh, che was the uh, the fifth member who is no longer in the group. Hmm. Uh, they do, 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 debuted in March, March 3rd of 2020. Oh, nice. Uh, with the song Aria. And something that is funny, not, not funny, a little coincidental, <laughs> is their fandom name is Crown. But prior to being Crown, it was called Cravity, which Therese can understand why that would be problematic now. That's a boy group <laughs> now. <laughs> Cravity, Cravity is the name of a uh, somewhat popular boy group. Wow, right? Pretty okay. popular boy group. I think they debuted around the same time, so it makes sense why that would get changed. <laughs> yeah, so they changed that pretty quick. Uh, fun fact I know about Craxy is that the guy who is either like the producer, not producer like music wise, but like the group producer mm -hmm. or the manager or like the, um, the I guy. guess like CEO of their company, yeah. the guy, he, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is a very famous Indonesian youtube vlogger like family yeah. vlogger um so he's like very rich from being like a multi-million dollar like multi-million subscriber family vlog channel interesting and has essentially like invested his money into starting a k-pop group i love that company oh good for him and he seems i don't know much about him i think his name's bruce that's awesome. Uh, or like one Go of the guys. Bruce. One of the guys' names Bruce. I, I don't know. I'm going very <laughs> loose off my my cracks of knowledge here. So don't be too harsh on me if I'm getting everything wrong. <laughs> um, don't be too harsh, Clyde. But from what I've seen, he seems like a cool guy. He like he's just casually on Twitter all the time, like answering fan questions and just like talking to people. Um, he got a lot of shit on Twitter for the whole uh, removing Che from the group thing. I remember that being all over Twitter. Um, Boo, Bruce. Yeah, we didn't like that. <laughs> Boo. We did not like that. Oh, that's not a good um, choice. <laughs> and, well, that was unfortunately right after their appearance at 
KCON or right before their appearance at KCON. Oh. So no. they had like um they had like one of those like special stages for KCON and like a, a panel and stuff. And it was like right before that, and they were also supposed to do they announced a tour, a US tour, but it was only a meet and greet tour. It was no it wasn't a concert oh. tour, it was just a meet and greet tour. That's interesting. Um huh. Yeah, a little a little bit funky around that that time. I don't know what was going on. So hmm. all I can say is hopefully hopefully they didn't kill the momentum. Hopefully they're gonna come back strong as four. Uh and you know. God bless. Hope Che is doing great. I love her. <laughs> so thanks to Che. Okay, so highs and lows with Bruce. Bruce man. <laughs> Man, you really hit us with a high thing. Like he was like yeah, family vlogger, like that... K-pop group owner, and then you're like, yeah, there's Chang. something but... admirable. There's something <laughs> admirable about Bruce, and then like, and then it's like, oh, Bruce got too comfortable and just decided to like casually kick out this member, and you're like, all right, Bruce, we don't like what you're doing anymore. I do really like uh, that. I have a new billionaire goal for whenever I become a billionaire, I can yeah. start my own K-pop group and also buy a rocket. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully those are unrelated. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. those are unrelated <laughs> ventures. Uh, I think they sound What unrelated. if I have a space K-pop group? <laughs> Sign me up. Zero I'll gravity be, music videos. I'll be on it. I'm sure there are plenty plenty of space uh themed K pop groups that are they'll be dying to get on the rock on the first rocket up there, series. XG hit me up. Yeah. When I become on, a billionaire. Only if Send I'm them back able, to their own yeah. planet. <laughs> <laughs> only if I'm allowed right, to well, shoot the music video, Therese. I'll be on board. You got why don't, it. Why, yes. don't we, uh, why don't we just dive right into uh their debut track here? All right, this one. I'm is loving all. the hollow crystals. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's a real vibe. All right, let's uh, get into Aria, guys. You live a body so far. That got say sue on the bra so weird. What's so good? I could never move on. I never be nine, but I'm good. I'm a shimmy. What's it? I'm a little bit of a blue. 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 I'm Okay. 
I like that ending choreography. Ending yeah, that was good. All right, guys, that was Craxy, their first song, Aria. Does anyone want to start or no? I'll start. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'll start because I might not be as positive. So <laughs> I'm, pro- I'm probably Just with you. It. I'm probably with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I okay, also might I remember when... as well. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. To be fair, first music video we're seeing from this group. I yes. know I've heard other songs from them that yeah. are very good. I can definitely um, make some disclaimers for, for yeah. the beginning of the trajectory of their career. <laughs> this I can't make any. a very strange song. And I remember when they debuted, I specifically ignored their comeback because I was you know, at the point where I wanted to keep up with all the new K-pop groups, but there were so many debuting at that okay. time fair that enough. I just gave yeah. up. And I was like, you know what? I think this is the cutoff. I think I'm going to stop at Craxy specifically. <laughs> so yeah. I never I mean, saw this music video. <laughs> they were part of like the, the COVID debut yeah. groups, you know, like the small company COVID debut groups. Yeah. Like the last one I remembered checking out was P1 Harmony. And even that one, I was kind of like, ah, I'm not sure yet. So, um, I never, I've never seen this before, and I was all about the visuals because it was gorgeous. I, I loved the sparkliness and all the outfits and all the hairstyles, but the music was so strangely full and yet also empty. It was like, yeah, yeah. it was like watching an end of the year show for a group that I had never heard of. And they started out way too strong. They kept that momentum. I did really like the uh, switch up at the bridge. I thought that was a really good tone for Mm. the production. But everything before that, it was like, I swear this might just be compressed audio or something. I'm like, am I missing something? Like, I could not understand. (laughs) I see a couple problems with this. Uh, One, it's a for a 2020 release it's a dated sound right it it sounds like it should have been out in like 2016 probably um that doesn't help when it has bad audio like a bad audio mix it also doesn't help when like for me the way i know craxy now is that they're performers Mm. they're really good rappers um really good dancers like super good performers this song does nothing to help them with that. Um, oh. It is not the right song for that. And it's like, like you have these cool scenes where you, like uh, the one rapper, uh, Karen, she's the one that had like the two tone hair and kept making mm-hmm. like the, the tiger growling sounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that is and why she needs. Is that a rapper quite, call? Like, like maybe I don't it's know, just. No, it's, she doesn't do that. Oh, okay. normally. She's a great rapper, but that. I kind of like, like it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm kind of into it. <laughs> kind of um, I, I think it's a pretty, I don't think it's an awful song. I just think it's like a, a case of bad mixing. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Mixed with maybe not knowing what your uh, members are like capable of or something. I, I don't know. Uh, I it, it's a weird, it's a weird debut. And and to be fair, have to consider that like this is this dude's like startup small company trying to get into k-pop for the first time i think that they are a group that figures it out over time from being Mm -hmm. like a smaller smaller more independent company um 
So I, I try not to be too harsh on like the earlier stuff, but this is also like pre working with the producer that they're currently working with and all that kind of mm. stuff. So do you know who they were working with at this time, Alex, or no? I, I don't. Okay. Um, I would probably agree with a lot of what you guys had said. Um, I there was some spots where I was like, I like this. This is cool. Like I was really feeling it out and vibing it out. And then there were some spots where it was like completely dead, and everybody stopped. And then it starts back up again, and you're like, wait a second, is the song is the song over with? Is it gonna keep going? Like, are they stopping here? When's the song gonna stop? I like intentionally was like, I'm not gonna take a look at the timestamp or anything just so I can gauge it out. And it just kind of felt like a little stop start, which I feel like with K-pop stuff, you really don't want that because like either at or like a hundred percent or you like go way over a hundred percent and you're like, yeah, yeah there was no go. build. It was just 100%, 100%, 100%. And zero, I, yeah, it was 100%, <laughs> yeah. zero, 100%, you know, like, <laughs> There's no, like, it felt kind of, it just felt kind of monotone, and that was kind of my issue with this song, and again, I'm not gonna, this is one song, this is their first song, so I'm gonna take it as a grain of salt, but I can't, this was probably the first song that I actually didn't enjoy out of the series <laughs> I've done so far, I just didn't like it, it didn't uh -oh. really hit me, so. It's gonna be a long Monday. It's going to be a long Monday. No, I, to be fair, it's not like it's bad. I just think that it, I think if they were to retool it now, it'd be, I, I'd be curious to see what they could do with it now. Um, yeah. Versus if you ask me, then. if you ask me to show somebody Craxy, this song wouldn't even be on the playlist. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, not totally related, but I didn't realize how much english is used in k-pop usually until like the very beginning i'm like what is going on i have no idea what they're saying and then i'm like oh wait that always happens in k-pop but for some reason <laughs> like there was there were like no touch points of like uh let's do it girl whatever there was nothing they were saying that i could relate to yeah. i was just thrown into this madness and i was like what why are we here <laughs> yeah that, that gets better too <laughs> and, and normally and normally i like like the choreography i just felt like it was like same with the music it was just kind of like it was almost as if they were like going through the motions a little bit and that was just kind of sad you know it was like oh yeah. man like you could tell they were like you could tell that they were like trying to enjoy it but like couldn't fully like invest in it if that makes sense like it just felt like oh, they were I, just yeah. like they i didn't just, like, see that i I, I kind of like their dance because uh, now that you say that they're performers, I can see it a lot more because they came with such confidence and I was kind of confused as to like, how, where did this come from? These are brand new girls to me, <laughs> but um, they definitely have that that presence. Um, but... Notably for me, uh, two members that stick out a lot for me and, and this is from I'm not super familiar with all of them, but two members that I latched on to really hard when I started getting into them um, were karen who is the one rapper and you'll know I, you'll for sure notice the other one um at least therese definitely but you probably both will the other one kind of looks a little bit like Hwasa. um her name is swan she is their vocalist like now that che is gone she's like their strong strong vocalist uh -huh. she's got such a unique vocal color she'll absolutely stand out to you like moving forward this isn't the oh, same purple kiss swan, is it? No, we have two swans. <laughs> two swans, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, gotcha. Yeah, wait, one's a second. black swan, one's a white swan. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, black, black swan's another group. Oh my god, no. <laughs> that no. is another group. <laughs> we're, getting in, we're getting into some hot water tonight, apparently. But um... <laughs> Alright, before, uh, before we trash them too much, you want to get into the next one? Yeah, I yeah, want to yeah. just read Cloud saying. Let's have a yeah, redemption arc. Quick. Let's get into this. Um, yeah, Cloud said, not a fan of the early stuff. I feel like the girls need more time for dance practices and the music. Uh, I don't know, but I think it's bad mixed. You're probably correct. The dance practice, I'm sure it was rushed. Um, because yeah. I'm sure at the time it came out, that was like peak COVID. I'm sure they were trying to just, just get it out. You know, 
Well, I'm sure they're also probably restricted on like their practicing and their filming. You know what I mean? So That's, like maybe yeah, they didn't get like... the opportunity to get full practices in or full sure as many as many takes for the music video or whatever. I know like especially in Korea, the restrictions on filming and and practicing and all that stuff are a lot. Oh yeah, that's uh, true. Worse, worse even than here. Uh, and Cloud says Swan's best vocalist. I she's <laughs> up there. She's really. D- you guys will see in some of these songs. She is an amazing vocalist. I think he was just generalizing. If your name's Swan, then you are the. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean Swan and Purple Kiss is an, an amazing voice. I love Swan and I, Purple I Kiss. Know. Yeah, that Swan one I know. And, Swan and Purple Kiss is also great too. Shout out. Something about Swans. Something about Swans, I guess. Something about Swans. But the next right, one we uh, have let's is. Let's hop into the next one. It's uh, Gaia, so I guess Gaia. we'll just hop into this it. This is right? off their first. Uh, yep, this is their first single album. Oh, title right. track guy let's go by the way we're not touching any lore i know there's some lore in like some of this stuff not touching it no lore that's all that's all if you want to give that's me fine. some cloud in the in the chat do it up <laughs> gladly take it <laughs> cloud there's no lore please <laughs> starting to cook a little oh yeah yep, oh no yep. oh roll, oh it's a roll. seven minute music video sorry Got it. there's a yeah yeah it, keep, it going. keep it going okay i was like seven minutes i was like the song is over with <laughs> uh, yeah i hate to tell you there's a there's a longer one too a longer one okay good to know i keep my eyes peeled this isn't the parasite house, is it? <laughs> oh, it's a wine commercial. Not wine. I've had that wine. It's not that great. <laughs> yeah. Cheap wine.
Oh, that mic. <laughs> they could have gotten way better mic. <laughs> oh, come on. Just buy like a lavalier mic or something. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Come on Bruce. Oh, he filmed on AirPods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, what's going on? Do you need help? <laughs> Hold it against Bruce. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Karen is not intimidating at all. <laughs> she looks like a sweetheart. But she had that wine. Yeah. She had the wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that automatically makes you more intimidating, apparently. this time good switching it up are these girls old enough to drink that's a great question <laughs> wait a second <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah okay Therese is asking oh. all the right questions. <laughs> Are they old enough to commit arson? What's going on? No. <laughs> oh. I haven't seen Shay drink wine yet. Maybe she just pours it out. Yeah. As far as I know, it's just Swan and Karen. They were both, uh, I think, 20. She okay. around 20, 21 around then. I like their logo, though. All right, interesting. Uh, Bruce, the man with, with the dream. The, the hmm. He's got to get I... a better mic. <laughs> yeah. If I... he wants Lori, he's got to get a better mic. <laughs> Oh, man, I, think you like... could have, I think you could have left out the whole cinematic thing and uploaded that as like a, a trailer. I don't know, cinematic video or something. I don't know. It's, I feel like you not what I would include in the music video, personally. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what the watch but time drop off would be after. Definitely a better video. song. Right. Let me right, remember well, what the song, the song was. Let's uh, talk about the song. <laughs> the song. <laughs> I do like the song uh, Gaia. I like um, the the drop was really good. I think it still needed a little bit more build up, but it was t like ten times better than their yeah. debut. I would also or pre debut agree. or whatever that was. <laughs> yeah, I think it's interesting. It's it's got a little more uh, punch to it. It's a little more like with the times as far as the sound goes. It's also got like it doesn't have a great or like long build up. But it does do something interesting with the build-up where it kind of, like, does a stutter right before the drop, mm -hmm. which is, like, a cool... It's, it's a little different. It's, like, the, the drums have, like, more of, like, a stutter kind of thing to them rather than your typical snare build-up. 
and then I like when the, when it drops, it has that kind of like um, not off tempo, but like a little bit of like an off beat to the, mm-hmm. to yeah. the drop. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I would agree. Um, yeah, I think it's interesting. I think this. I think song... it's again, personally, not my not my favorite showcase of them, but I think it's like a huge step in the right direction. I was yeah, took the words right out of my mouth. I think it's definitely way better than the first song we listened to i think by every i think they felt like at least in terms of like the writing it seems like they're you can tell where you feel like they're gonna go at least for a group um so i i do appreciate that um a lot i think you get to hear all of them individually a little bit more too where i felt like maybe in the first song it was a little bit lacking in that department um but overall, yeah, this one was way better. Uh, I enjoyed the drop. The drop was fun. Um, so the the cleans and the rap parts were both, I thought they were executed pretty well. Um, but I think it just kind of points me more in the direction of what they're going to be going for uh, going further. So it's, you know, I can tell that there's, I can tell that they learned a lot from that pre-debut uh, and I think that they kind of obviously corrected themselves after that because Gaia came out, let's see, October 6th. So that was, you know, I don't know how much longer of a time frame between the two songs, but um, seems like, you know, obviously they, <coughs> they have they have uh, improved upon their sound that much more since that time period. So good to hear. Good to hear. I, I like this one a lot more. I would agree with Therese. This one was definitely way more of a step up in the right direction. So, very cool. Still can't get over that ending clip that was like four minutes long. That was wild. Yeah, you know what? I'll say, like, since we're kind of dodging the lore, um, the next video is like ten minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can... Try to time stamp in. <laughs> we'll just pretend it's not there. I don't know. Um, Cloud said, "No lore, please." <laughs> um, <laughs> then he also said, uh, "Che was seventeen, I think." There, um, and then he also agreed it's one of their worst ideas in that time. Um, but they said you can't uh, do anything. You can't do stream for wins, for example. Right, um, like like uh, streaming, like YouTube video streams are a metric to help get wins in some cases for shows. Hmm. For like and if you if you have a longer music video, there's less times that it'll get streamed because it's taking up like ten minutes of your playlist. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. So glad they uh, hopefully stop doing that after this song. So uh, this next one is Dance with God. So I think we should jump into it if you guys are good i'm good i'm yep. ready come on and catch me
All right, you can stop it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Another house. My, I got to get my complaints out of the way first. <laughs> Do it, um, do, it. do it up. My complaints are that for a song like this, where, that you need to be so performance heavy, you have a very long dance break. You like highlight your your best dancer, Karen, who, by the way, has awful hair in this video. Really mm-hmm. awful hair. We don't like that. But, Not good. Um, the shots that are that should be highlighting the choreography are awful. There are no good shots of, of her in that dance circle when she has a really good, like, solo dance break. Really Agreed. frustrating. Yeah. Um, also, the song just sounds like it's like a step up in production, but it's like a step back in, like, trend. Yep. Thank like, you. <laughs> it's like it should have. It's like it really wants to be Mumbaya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh okay. and and come out at the same time as Boombaya. Oh. <laughs> Makes sense. Um that's sort of my only issue with it. Uh, otherwise, I think there are some really good parts. I think um there's this specifically a part in the build up where Che, girl with the pink hair, has a, a really cool uh little vocal run where like they kind of drop the audio out and she has that little falsetto vocal thing. Yeah, yeah, that was sick happens twice i think in the song i think that's really nice she's got a really really soft voice so it works well for like falsetto and and like a ballad type songs Mm -hmm. whereas swan has a really strong almost like a gritty voice like a raspy voice kind of similar to to wasa i think um is she the one with the bangs yeah who's uh let me see uh you would have to go back let me see if I can get like a full group. Does she chat. have a gap? A little bit oh, of a gap. Not... I don't I don't think so. Oh my gosh, pay more attention. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm trying to pay attention to so much. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. There's a lot. Is it what, So out obviously of these five. this is Karen. Who's yep. do you know yeah. who's here with the blonde, long blonde um, hair? So it's Che in the center with the pink hair. Okay. The frame's okay. a little blurry. I'm sorry. It's not the um, best frame. And I think Swan is all the way on the right, but it's kind of hard to tell the back uh, three. Okay. Most replayed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that would make sense. Um, all right. Well, I'm just gonna leave this terrible yeah. frame up here. Uh, Woo! I. They still look great. They still look <laughs> great. Um, I would probably say this one. I agree with Alex. The production. I like the production. Um, however, I think the song is just kind of like. It sits like the energy is like this the entire time. They have like some parts where like the bridge, it kind of like lowers down a little bit in terms of energy and then like, you know, jumps back up. The dance break I thought was interesting. Um, I would agree with Alex that the the way it was shot was not the best. Um, I think they definitely could have done a little bit better with that one. Um, But I really liked Karen's verse in this. I thought she I thought she did pretty well. Um, obviously like much like everything else, I'm a rapper bias. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Chase vocals as well. Um, I think I'm just curious. I think it just is still making me curious to hear what's going to be coming out. That's released more recently. Like with, when they start mm-hmm. working with, you know, the producer who worked with, like Pixie, you're still kind of waiting for the, best. I'm still <laughs> waiting for the best yeah. because that's I, fair. because I think that I can kind of see where they're going somewhat though i feel like this one kind of threw me for a loop because i think like Mm -hmm. musically they went in like a different direction a little bit even still um but i think the song itself was i think it was solid i don't i don't think it was like the best but i'll I'll put it at like mid mid low tier is kind of where my thought process i i think this song was a choice as in, <laughs> they they took it from the club across the street. Oh. They just took that instrumental that they play five times over from the club. They put the girls in the club, which makes sense because this is a club song. It is, a club and song. then they just sort of dubbed their They're voices the over it, like over the instrumental. And I don't think the production was good in that respect. <laughs> I think it's very obvious that they had this instrumental. And they wanted to put the girls on it. And that's exactly what they did. So solid instrumental. 
solid song choice that they pulled um but do i think it's original at all (laughs) not really i think i would feel differently if i saw this performed live for sure agreed yeah yeah the one thing i do want to say about the production or like the song itself is for the dance break that just like just that plain rhythmic drum thing that's going on where I it's like basically it. just mm-hmm. her dancing to it. That's a sick dance break. Oh, yes. damn. Like, you don't think so? No, I think so. Uh, I, I just didn't like see it that well. So I don't know. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean like the dancing wise. I just meant like just using that drum oh, as using an instrumental. That as, yes. Like musically, I, yeah. I thought that was really cool. That yeah, was actually I unique agree. for a dance break. And I think it gives a lot of leeway. For her to show off her dance skills, which they could have done a better job showing. Because you're yeah. folk, you're focusing I also, in on her dancing. Yeah, that's true. You can tell how outdated this song is by the group in the back that are literally like, yeah, yeah, yeah club dancing. And I swear, I have Music. that bright pink dress in the back. I have that <laughs> because I wanted to be sexy Squid Games for Halloween one year, mm. so I got that bodycon dress. No. And it looks the exact same. No, I don't know what to tell you. She probably got it from Amazon. Just say. <laughs> hey, the budget budget wasn't always great. They spent the rest of the budget for the music video on the f- filming the seven minute. That's uh, true. They need the drone shots. Now <laughs> yeah, we don't need to watch. I mean, the, the rest of it is kind of cool. It's like them shooting, like killing people. It's kind of cool. but uh, I do like I some action. But yeah. we don't need to get into all seven minutes of that There's anyway no music. this is still very amateurish to me i i'm not sold but i'm waiting okay. for we'll the get polish. into it we yeah. have in, in lots opinion, more songs okay i'm gonna give my my disclaimer i think right. there's so the next song we're listening to is a b-side from this um from this single album okay okay and then and then i think there's a switch okay and I, I don't know if that's the producer change i don't know exactly where the producer change starts um but in my opinion there's like debut era Craxy, and then there's like next era Craxy. And reborn Craxy. Next... Yeah, Craxy Reborn, which I think starts after the next song we're getting into, mm. which we uh, can probably just get into. Okay. Well, by s- seven minutes of this video that we're not going to watch, this next one is called Trigger. So Sorry. You, <laughs> might, you might be triggered after us skipping that seven minutes. Anyway, here you go. Ooh. Yeah, pull the trigger like a ladder. War, going shots. You can hear the songs of blues. Could it in Joe Marawane? The sound of Dota Spin it. Baby, you deserve it. That's Swan. Uh. That's Swan. That's Jane. Oh, that's cool. Pull the trigger like a loaded. Bang a set it down. Yeah, it's song you can and must stop. Pull the trigger like a loaded. In the gear and gas up. Pull the enemy down. Left, right, 
Alright guys, that was Trigger by Craxy. Should have been the title track. I Yeah, that was really agree. cool. <laughs> yep. Much better. That was a cool one. That was a uh, gets the kudos. That was a that was a good one. I'm so yeah, I'm surprised they did not choose this one as being their front runner track. This was way better. <laughs> yeah, I think this ju- this also like it, this just lends really well to showing them off as performers rather than like yeah a well-rounded k-pop group you know what i mean it's like a very performance heavy song and i think that's like i think they're slowly figuring out that's like their bread and butter is being like strong performers um i I think this song just accentuates that a lot better than the other one you know i would yeah i would agree they're dancing in this song chef's kiss it was great like the way that they did the choreo was really awesome um, but the song itself was really good. Um, I felt like it. I felt like it played along with a lot of the strengths that I've, that have kind of accumulated over listening to the couple Craxy songs we've listened to thus far. Um, so I would say this is at current moment right now. I think this is their best foot forward. Um, I think in, like it has those cool like EDM elements that I feel like hit well with not only the musicality of how they do stuff but also like the performance aspect the way that like whoever is doing their videos now is able to like cut the performance a little bit better to match up with like some of the things that i typically see in like one of those k-pop performance videos so i think that that's i think it was way i think all around editing wise way better i think the music was a lot better and i would also say they're performance has been something that has been stand out but i think even more so this one showed me that they are way more of a performance band versus uh being musical not that i think their music is bad by any stretch but i think that no i agree focus more <laughs> on the performance aspect of things but Therese, your thoughts? And their music has to be, yeah, pretty strong to get to that level but this was good this was just the right am- amount of like strong while also being like a little coy, I guess. And mm. um, yeah, I really like this one. I think it makes sense now being able to see their full performance. It's like what each member brings to the table. And yeah, I am really impressed by Swan. All all K-pop Agreed. groups and idols named Swan are automatically really good. I Everyone guess, get so. a Swan. Everyone get a Swan. Ev- yeah. More Swans in K-pop, please. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, we have to have, there has to be like, there's going to be like an embargo on swans now. They're like, okay, we can't have, <laughs> have too many, too many swans now. Um, no. Yeah, no. It was We're going to have swan with two ends. We're going to have <laughs> swans with three ends. And oh my God. The swan <laughs> has It's going to keep going. <laughs> the there's going to be a little have swan. It <laughs> there's going to be a swan junior. <laughs> They're going to be a swan with instead of the A, it's the at sign N, you know. Oh, got to have the, the at sign. Got to have yeah, it. At you know? sign swan. <laughs> Let us know your best right. swan in the comments. But <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's get into the next one. We're, we're going to be checking out a couple um, from this mini album. We're going to be checking out a couple songs from it. Do you know what this, this mini I, album I is called, I did double Alex? check. Oh, he's who, looking. Who am I? Who Who are you? It's called Who Am I? <laughs> who Am I? Oh, okay. I thought okay. you were asking. <laughs> like, are you I'm okay? Answering your question. I have to go to. <laughs> do you have to I'm, go run no, downstairs? I'm not going through it. Start I'm knocking okay. on your I'm door. Okay. okay, good. All right. Well. Um, I do want to say that this is the album where they started working with um, Kevin, uh, Kevin. Deanser, aka Pixie's old producer. <laughs> Let's go. Shout outs to Kevin. All right. Well, 
Let's uh, jump into Undercover, which is the oh. first one we're listening to. Yeah, we're checking out a couple, a couple from this album. Say, so oh have videos goodness. for them. There better be a heist. <laughs> That doesn't look like a heist. <laughs> Looks like a I'm shame. ready for a heist. Break her out of the chains. my gosh those show chains <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry oh we were God. both laughing at the same thing yeah i was <laughs> they had like those ai idol physics <laughs> that were just like Woo! <laughs> i'm chained Woo, up oh chained. my god <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no i that was a really cool one this is great was a solid it's k-pop song <laughs> I, i'm normally i don't know if you know this about me, Therese, I'm normally a very big anti-drop hater. Oh. Interesting. Like, um, historically, never never been a big fan. And <laughs> that's, like, kept me... This is a totally a side note. It's kept me from liking a ton of Stacey songs, and I feel like the biggest Stacey hater because they Aww. use anti-drop so much, and I want to like them so bad, but... Uh, yeah, they I got pretty popular never... with that anti-drop. I know. <laughs> And for some reason, I can never get into them because I'm so used to, like... Mm. It's okay. You don't have to know. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm just so used to, like, EDM. Random. I didn't know what and, you were oh, looking yeah. at, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm oh. just looking around, you know. I'm a lot of I'm <laughs> Looking you know? for the answers to yeah. the K-pop questions yeah. in your head. Cat's crawling around the <laughs> yeah. 
it's the two tumbleweeds rolling around in my head trying to give me but some answers. But you like this one. Yeah. But yeah, this one this one's good to me. I don't know why. I, I think it's maybe a combination of the choreography and then the addition of the post chorus that brings a little more like life to it. You know what I mean? Um, Agreed. But I also just think it's like a solid song. Like I think all the verses are really good. I think every member shines really well. I think they finally uh, gave all the girls pretty good rap verses. Um, and the choreo is fun. Like there yeah. are some decent choreo shots, but like the ones they do show are, are pretty good. I think. They I did like the a good zoom job in. I like the, the zoom girls. in stuff. Yeah, it was. I I would agree, Therese, Anyway, you can go. Sorry, I cut you off. I'm pretty sure I have a bias. I'm pretty sure it's the one with bangs, but I still don't know her name. So, <laughs> anyone who joined in the chat, let me know who my bias is. <laughs> um, she usually sings after Swan. I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I think I. I I think this is a decent song i think it's a good k-pop song um it's kind of still not like i'm not wowed yet i just think they're <laughs> providing the minimum k-pop requirements which are pretty damn high so props to them yeah, fair <laughs> enough, yeah. um i those show chains kind of threw me <laughs> out but otherwise i really liked the whole like icky aesthetic <laughs> Um, so. Yeah, I guess. Therese, I think you're talking about um, Hajin, by the way. The Hajin. one with bangs, the uh, black black bangs, Hajin. right? Okay. She's yeah. also a rapper. Oh, is she? I but guess she's I their, she's that. their leader. If if I'm thinking oh. of the right person, oh. God, another leader under my belt. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear her with pride, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm going through and I'm looking. The only the only girl I see with bangs is, oh, that is uh, not good. Hajin, okay. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her. Anyway. Well, whatever. dang. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Sorry, don't, oh, don't correct oh, okay. me. Don't, don't yell at me, what? I'm sorry. She's, uh, <laughs> she's not their leader. She's their lead rapper, lead oh. dancer. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, you gotcha. Go. Sorry, okay. I, I saw lead and I uh, I got carried away. Oh, yeah, um, Sterling Wu-a. corrected you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Wu-a. sorry. Yeah, Wu-A is their leader. Not to be confused with the group wu yeah, oh my god, god. there's oh so much to be, not to be, <laughs> I am confused. Not to be confused with the group Wu uh, and not to be confused with Swan from Purple Kiss. Oh god. I'm so confused right <laughs> yeah, now. You're really killing me here. Um I think we're talking about confused. Craxy. Um no. Uh <laughs> I no, I think this song was way again, I I feel like a broken record, but I do think this is again, we are moving we're moving the piece a little bit further along the the path line, you know. I feel like with each song, we are slowly like <laughs> moving our character further along in the narrative, so we can have a nice story arc, you know. That's what I. We're so close. We're so close, you know. We're playing shoots and ladders. Uh, we're playing shoots and, and we're and just la- going across the board. Yeah. What was <laughs> it? Uh, what was the? Oh, the sponge. Oh, eels and escalators. We're playing. I got eels some and eels. Escalator. Yeah, I got some eels right now. Well, no, we're on the escalator now. You know, we're not taking the eels, so we're good. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know I, if we got to escalator. I think we're moving forward though. Okay, well, don't be a Debbie Downer. Okay, That's Teresa. me. <laughs> okay, okay. No, I'm just kidding. They're great. Uh, I love everything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Uh, this is the best group I've ever listened to. Uh, Craxy, oh best group ever. <laughs> Throw out all these Stray Kids posters. No more BTS. Only Craxy now. <laughs> oh, okay. No. <laughs> Teresa's fully committed I'm to a little the bit. Patronized. I'm feeling a little patronized here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm, this is the best really group to ever here. exist. No, um, I'll stop. Anyway, uh, no, I, I really enjoyed you this did. song. You just wait. I know. I'm 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 gonna wait to eat my words <laughs> later on. Um but I think I think this is definitely a better a better fit sound wise, I feel like, for what they're trying to accomplish. Um I think the music video is definitely shot a lot better. Um it seems like it's more performative, which I appreciate. Um just because I feel sure. like they I do feel like they are way more in the performative space and I think the some of the some of the um like the choreo in this track was really cool. So I got to give him the pops for doing that. Um, Cloud did say that Kevin D is way better, way better for rap versus than their previous producer. So that would explain why 
you know, Karen crushed it in the song. You already know my bias, most likely. Um, but I, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. This one was a solid one. I think I would agree, Therese. I'm waiting for that song where I'm going to be like, I get it. It makes sense. It's coming together, you know, putting all the pieces together. So it, it's overall, I, I like it. And based off of what uh, R. Crusoe said, uh, they said it's wild how much growth Craxy uh, have shown since debut. So that's any consolation. I feel like that's good, good, positive it is, juju for future. Yeah, it is fun to see them improve with each music video, whether it's like song production or the performance. Honestly, just the performance shots <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just getting better and better. So that's um, exciting for sure. I did like the zoom in stuff that they did when they focused in on like Karen and then like pushed out. I thought that was really tight. Yeah, I hope they do that was more. cool. Hope they do more of that. Like just kind of like real fun edits. I'm gonna get real. I get real nerdy about like the the film, the way it's filmed. But um, yeah, I think this one solid song. Definitely, definitely excited for the next one, which is Lion. So this is off the same album. Ooh. Is that correct, Alex? Yes. All right. Let's uh, hop into it. Oh, it's a performance video. Let's go. Oh, yes. Also, don't mind me. I'll turn off my camera for a sec. Now we can talk shit about Alex. No. like 12 necklaces of fun damn <laughs> just adding more bling All the necklaces. Something's going on with those necklaces. <laughs> so, 
something is going on with those necklaces. Mm. This was also good. Wow. I enjoyed this one too. Uh, performing. They are such fun. good performers. Yeah. Yes. I, I was gonna say this. This is this is like I think they're, like I said earlier, they're bread and butter when they can like show off their performances like this. I think obviously they're all strong performers. I think Karen stands out so much as a performer, like a, like a strong dancer. She's great at rapping too, but she sticks out so much when she gets these like dance breaks and these like just great shots of her performing. Mm -hmm. Super fun to watch. One of my most, uh, one of my favorite things about girl groups is when they get that really intense choreography. It is like a combination of hair flipping skill and hairspray. (laughs) <laughs> but getting those perfect shots where you like have to like get the hair out of your face because you're doing a lot of like downwards motions that gets it all like awkward and the strings get everywhere. Um, they're so good at their hairography. And hair I love choreo that. is real. Hair choreo yeah. is real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The very, very impressive stuff when I see girl groups doing like really like down and dirty choreo and then they like flip their hair back and look perfect like they totally meant to <laughs> well, that's why like i've always not like i, I don't want to just draw comparisons but them and pixie share similarities in the way they do their choreography which is very intensive choreography um, especially sharing a producer for a while um don't know if that has anything to do with it but it's definitely in the, in has to do with like the style of music right because mm-hmm. this Which, this is a song that you could definitely see a boy group doing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Which I think but has I, sort of always been Kevin, like the the, the team that is the answer, specifically Kevin. I think has always been sort of his his style as well as like working with he's worked with other groups too, but like working with girl groups and getting them songs that are like not your typical girl group songs. I think to a group like Pixie, to a group like Craxy does them a lot of favors whereas like it's not gonna be the case for every group you know yeah i totally appreciate that because i love the like harder edm sounds and i was gonna ask what that like background electronic like sounds were in the back where it's like the breakdown of the some sort of like synth. <laughs> I, I, I don't know it almost sounds like a really really over-processed guitar but, I was gonna oh, say I would yeah, also agree yeah, yeah. with that. I think you're that, correct. That's Alex. my that's my guess. Okay, that, and I do know that, that... <laughs> he does produce with a lot of guitar. So it was with this track and with the track before. He also used some really heavy synths, and I'm not quite out of the like 2010s ending of the Nickelodeon show sound. You know where they like <laughs> they like have that one over processed sound that's like really. Uh, it's I don't know if it's meant to be a hook, but it comes off as a bit of a hook, and it's not. It's kind of outdated to me. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not vibing quite there. <laughs> oh. But but it's just that one sound, and the rest of the song's really cool. I specifically love when they like get into their smoother stuff or like into their multiple bridges. I couldn't tell when the <laughs> song was going to end, and I kind of liked it. Um, I really like those portions, but it's something about their breakdowns that are just like. I don't know. It it goes a little not too hard, but it's just just enough too much. Oh, too just much. a little too much. Okay, just a little too over the top. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like you didn't need to add that uh-huh. guitar. You didn't need to add <laughs> that over process. Whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I guess my thoughts, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think again, the performative aspect of things is I would agree with Alex is where they shine the most. Um, there was a spot, I think like, I don't know if it was maybe the, it was probably like the last bridge I would guess, but there was like some really high vocals that I could hear like all the way up at the top that I was like, holy shit. I'm like, who's hitting these like insanely (laughs) high notes at the end. Um, so I, like that that was sick i'm pretty sure is maybe one of the obviously one of the singers um but i think overall this one was definitely a little bit more um more akin to i feel like what their sounds going to be going further um just kind of like that really like you know again working with kevin d i think it i I think if they're gonna sound in the same realm as of of a pixie 
I wouldn't be surprised if this is like kind of like their precursor to what I feel like they're gonna wind up becoming sound wise. Obviously not exactly the same, but to some degree I feel like there is probably some shared shared DNA there. Um but yeah, no, this song was good. Um, but I would say that a large majority of my focus was probably more so on the performance, which I think they crushed. So um yeah, enjoyed the song as well. A good song. But Cool. We're already on to the next one, which is real, and this is right, off the this same is, album. Uh, this is yep, off the same album. This is the last one we'll be listening to off this album. Very cool. All right, let's hop into it. Let's make it real. For real. And I'm down. Come so good or fallen. Two million Mommy won't chat. Come look at me. Boom, boom. Focus on me. Zoom, zoom. Set on bam. No, 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 no. Hey, Kali, the mom and dad. Why not? I'm a nigga. Jigo is a head of the lunch and jug of skirts in a field. Watch me. Don't you come. I got it. Come so I don't got to see. Keep going. Make it real. Don't say you don't go make one. Make it real. Mom shows you more than don't stop. Stop. Let's make it real. Can no do good to no make it real. So keep on moving. Keep on moving till it's real, 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 real thing. Real, 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 real thing. Hey. Real, 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 real thing. Real, 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 real thing. Hey. Here's your body day. Don't go to the party. Got you. Like a real, real. Like this part. Sick. Give me that, give me that feeling. Like that, like that flickering. And when the mountain jug of speed, and it feels. Watch me, don't be calm. I got it. Come so I don't got to see. Keep going. Tell me the magic of the way I'm one and only. I'll do me good team. I'll be the star girl. Make it real, make it real, make it real. Make it real. Don't say you don't go make one. Make it real. Mom shows you more than don't stop. Stop. Let's make it real. Can no do good to no make it real. Make it real. So keep on moving. Keep on moving till it's real, 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 real thing. Real, 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 real thing. Hey. Real, 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 real thing. Real, 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 real thing. Hey. Kids and butter day. Take them down by the guy. Like a real. guys that was real that was probably my favorite instrumentation that they've used <laughs> I, I purposely included this one because i didn't want to go just to answer cloud real quick i didn't include requiem and butterfly just because uh we wanted to keep this one a little shorter um there are two other b-sides they do have videos for on this album ah okay um i chose this one specifically because i think it stands out a little bit it it's does fun it's like yep it's a little uh, mm-hmm. left field for where they were going concept wise so th- thought it was just a good like juxtaposition song to show oh yeah shout out to them uh popularizing the shy choreography <laughs> yeah, it was right. craxy first 
That's Senpai for noticed sure. me. <laughs> Wait, I couldn't tell. Was the song about making a relationship real, or was it about making your dreams real? <laughs> Could probably be both. Because it kind of, uh, it kind of started out with the relationship, and then it ended with the dreams. I'm it. like. Uh, I was a little confused as to why I was getting this pep talk in a diner. <laughs> maybe they're maybe they're one and the same, you know. Making I guess. dreams of a maybe, relationship. Yeah, me, real. yeah. I was gonna say maybe oh. your dream is a really yeah. <laughs> your dream is a relationship or vice versa. But... <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, that was really cute. Uh, that was. Uh, I don't have any complaints about the song itself. It was very very nice, and they pulled off the cute concept very well. I would agree. It was I I I like to pick Alex. Uh, I think because the I I agree the juxtaposition because I feel like they are, are more of the like darker like energetic and this one is like energetic but like in a like bubble gummy pop sort of way and yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. what the fuck? Not all I they got. To? Yeah, I was like, I was like <laughs> wait a second. I was like is this like you know it was giving me like you know a little bit of. I don't even know. I feel like a little twice kind of, you know, it's like that mm-hmm. little fun. It was like fun. It was yeah, a fun. It gives a little bit going. of like a twice B side. It gives a little bit yeah. of like an Oh My Girl B side kind of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. A little trap uh, house, a little. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. It was a fun song. I, uh, yeah. I would agree with Therese. Inoffensive. I, inoffensive. I would agree with Therese. It was just like a fun song that, like, you know, just talking about what's real. Which is apparently your dreams and a relationship, or both. <laughs> Verdict's not out. The verdict's not out. Let us know. Make my dreams real, Maybe but also dreams. we could be together if you yeah. want. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm totally. Let's make it real. I'm single, you know. <laughs> Follow your dreams, but also like let's hang out. Let's go out. <laughs> Brandon, you got a bias? Is, is it Karen? It's definitely Karen. Yeah, I love definitive. Karen. Definitive. Nice. Yeah, definitively. I feel like either you Karen, up on a... either Karen or um, I like Swan a lot. Actually, I I would say she's mm-hmm. very close second. Yeah, yeah, Swan's great. I think her like, I also think I really love her like, like mid range vocals. Like none, like not a lot. She has like got this real kind of like warmth to her voice that I appreciate. And even in like the songs where, like I think conceptually they're a little bit more like darker. I think she still can hit the like darker tonality super well but like clearly she can do this like bubble gummy like poppy sort of stuff super yeah. well too so it's very swan, versatile swan is my bias uh fair enough and she yeah. has a very very emotional voice she, she does is, yeah. is very good at using her vocals to like strain for emotion oh yeah you'll hear it, I love you'll hear that. it in some of the other stuff we listen to you'll hear it for sure she's like almost Especially because she has a solo song and she also has those, like some cover clips and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, she is very good at almost like acting with her voice, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, cool. Cloud says, a funny BTS about uh, the real clip is they were all supposed to wear an outfit like Che, but none of the other girls <laughs> looked like schoolgirls like Che, so they had to use other clothes. That makes sense. <laughs> like Che is, is the... Uh, <laughs> Is there like quintessential girl cute... next door? Yeah, cute <laughs> girl. It's the look and the voice. Yeah, That's yeah. yeah, a bit of both. Oh, both. Yeah, oh, both the bird. <laughs> Have you guys picked up on uh, on Karen's lisp yet? Oh I, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought that was just a part of the rap. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I didn't want to like. I like. I kind of picked up on it pretty quickly, but then I was also like. I, I kind of like it though, so. I'm always just curious. I, I think it's charming. I, yeah, I, yeah. I think it. I think it's a. I, I think, think it's it adds nice. to it. Adds to it. But I, I just think it's funny. Also, I feel like, like she just... she acts so tough. Like she comes off say, as so yeah. tough. But she's got like a real soft face, and she's got a lisp, and it's really funny when she goes hard it's rapping just... and has like dance breaks. She has like it's funny because she'll like get into the camera and she'll do like you know the like the hand movements yeah. like that sort of stuff, and you're just like. I feel like it kind of takes away, like, when you're like, oh, yeah, she has a list. Now, I think that's the only thing I'm <laughs> thinking about going further now. So, thank but you I for that. But I kind of like it. But I kind of like it, though. I, so. think that's I like good, it. It's that's a good rap her, quirk. When yeah. you hear her, like, talking in interviews or, like, uh, introducing herself, it's like, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I just like. I, was the same I girl. also like how her name is Karen. Like, 
Did yeah, they, where did you get that stage name? Yeah. Uh, I think it's just like she pronounces oh, it more Karim. like Karim. Yeah, or she Karen. pronounces it more like no, it's K A R. It's Romanized is K A R I N. Okay. Oh, Karen. Okay. Karim or Karen? Let us know, Cloud. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it's, to say words. Yeah, it's it's N. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's, her, it so looks it's like K A R I N. Yeah, K A R I N. Okay. Uh, and yeah, basically, it, in Korean, it it's pronounced like Kaden. Kaden. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay. and her birth name is uh, Lee Yedin. Nice. Okay. So I guess I guess they went with Karen instead of Yaren because there's other Yarens, I guess. Oh. Yeah, true. <laughs> there's yeah, a lot of those. There's a lot of swans right. too, apparently. Um, so <laughs> yeah, swans with two ends. They thought There's they were getting away with an easy stage name. <laughs> I just thought it was like Karen, like how we we say Karen in like English. Like no, yeah, it's not Karen, like, like it's not like she. No, she wasn't like born in Ohio. Karen. I thought, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> just, so it would have been uh, funny if nah. she like came up to the stage. She's like, "I'm Karen with an E N," you know. Like, <laughs> get it right. I'm telling your manager, you know. Oh, cringy English <laughs> yeah. names. Uh, sorry. Anyway, more cringy English names. <laughs> sorry, Cloud, for that All divergence right. here. But the next one is uh, Poison Rose, and this is Let's go. new stuff. This is new stuff. Newer. Okay. We're getting we're getting into the. I think this is the, the one I heard once. <laughs> I can only. We tell don't have that much the, left. The thumbnail looks wild, so let's get into it. Yeah. Awesome piano, sick. That's how I envision myself playing piano, but not actually. Oh, are we vampires? It's spoopy season. Oh, more show chains. i 
Okay, this was my favorite instrumentation so far. <laughs> yeah, nice. it's a good one. Wow, what a step up. There's something <laughs> There's something about like the tempo of the song that makes it so much better. I don't know why because it, it, it like it still goes hard but it's slow. It's a swing. It's and it, and it's swing. still yeah, but it, it's still like it's as effective as like dance with god or gaia with like how like hard it goes because it's yeah. still like super bassy and it uses a lot of those um what are they called like those uh those those like orchestral hits mm -hmm. yes correct uh, for like yeah. the drops like that just like a sub bass and like a like a string hit or something which is like you know yeah. kind of tropey in edm especially in like k-pop edm but this is so much more uh like palatable for me because it's it's like it also has like a vibe like a slow kind of chill vibe to it while also going kind of hard i think it's a great instrumental i think their voices are genuinely just a like very feminine like they they have very feminine voices even when they're doing like hard rap and stuff and um or like belting in the background <laughs> love yeah. that um and so i think the piano sounded really good with them and i think there was a portion where the piano kind of like distorted underwater and oh man that was so sick with like underwater piano runs while they were saying oh i love that part yeah i would agree uh this is a good one i also really enjoyed like the like little like vocal like quips almost like that they added into the song mm -hmm. like where they like you could hear like somebody screaming or like you could hear like different things that I think added to like the the spooky nature of this the song um I think that they definitely hit more of a like minor tonality with the actual instrumentation which I really appreciate because I feel like this lends well to their style and their sound so uh, you know I was kind of hoping that's what the next iteration was going to be for them um, but yeah, the production value, way, 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 way better um, than the previous one we listened to, um, and I think that uh, this one highlighted them all pretty well. I'd say I'd, I would probably like like a little bit more Karen if I'm going to be 100 percent frank. <laughs> but then that's every song that I would want more Karen on. But um, but I would say yeah, overall it was very good. Um, like swan's vocals definitely stuck out a lot in this track i would say she's got such a like again such a strong like powerful vocal that i think really sits well in the mix of the song but also i think is a very powerful she's a very powerful vocalist that fits well within this type of like swinging sort of style song so yeah i i i enjoyed this one a lot this one's probably my number one right now even though we still have like three more songs to go so yeah i enjoyed this one a lot same I liked listening to this with headphones on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well mixed. My, I didn't enjoy it so much Kevin. with the, the last ones. <laughs> uh, Teresa's one like, I might Kevin. take He's this out to my car. <laughs> I might put this on my car speakers. <laughs> just saying. This might leave my house. All right. I'm going to give a little bit of context. All into right, the next context. One. I love it. We're getting into we're getting into the another first... ten minute music video. No, 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 no. shorter. Uh, Eight no, minutes. No, 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 no more cinematics. Stop. Sorry, it. sorry, clouded on you, Alex. Stop. It. No more cinematics. We're Get getting into a cipher. Okay. Oh, a cipher. Getting into a, we're getting into a cipher. We're getting in the first Let's of two go. ciphers that we have from them. Let's go. Okay. So if you don't if you don't think you understand what every one in the group can do vocally, we have two ciphers. You can understand yeah. fully. Let's um, go. I I will give warnings to anybody who is sensitive. They do cover dark topics in the, the cipher. So maybe if you're feeling super bad and sensitive, 
skip. Skip a little bit. Don't watch it. Or just mute it. Um, then we'll be like... That's all I got. Then we'll hit you the thumbs up again. Um, I do want to say Crusoe said, uh, it only t- honestly took me a while to really vibe with Poison Rose, but it really has grown on me. That's very interesting. I guess you've been... Glad Crusoe's it grew been on a, Yeah, I was going to say, I'm guessing Crusoe's been a fan of Craxy for a bit, so that makes sense. But, all right. Let's, uh, let's go into... Is this XX? Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Alex? All right. Oh. I see where this is going. I know it ain't real, but your life is full of shit. Run, run away, run. We're gonna break this violation. Run away, run. Cracks ah. ah. answer. Strangers always talk, talk, talk. Got out on the top, bang it, talk, talk, talk. I better run lane to the team of one name. Oh, you got the brew money, call, call, call. Red off the minute. See what you were talking about now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the emotion. Swan's, oh. got, Swan's got a voice. <sighs> Emotional damage. Oh. That was that was great. I wanna say I think that's mm. I think that was their again, I'm gonna beat a dead horse, but I would say that this is their best foot forward. I enjoyed this one a lot. <laughs> this one was, I think this was like the emotiveness that I was hoping to get out of them, like going further. And I, I, it feels like they're obviously speaking about something that's real and personal to them. So I think that I enjoy that a lot for this year fact of them being very, cause I don't, I typically from what I've noticed is that like K-pop groups tend to stick away from like the really taboo or like, not like stuff like this i feel like this is these are tougher topics that i feel like groups don't typically tend to jump into as as much the only other group i can think of is that we've covered is like card i feel like they've talked about some stuff but beyond that i know like most groups are like nah we're gonna we're gonna stay away from talking about that sort of stuff so 
I don't know. I like that. I think the beats were great. The all of them sounded fantastic in this this first cipher. Um, so yeah, this was this is this was a great one. I would say. Cool. Um, yeah, obviously, like the I think no no need to really talk about the topics. Yeah, at hand. Yeah. You know, I feel like pretty self explanatory. Dark stuff dealing with uh, inner demons, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, stuff you know. That scream control. was pretty scary. Yeah, like legit. The scream catches horror movie part. scream. <laughs> yeah. Um, something interesting is they did a. Uh, as they mentioned in chat, I think uh, yeah, Sterling mentioned it in chat that this was sort of like a wipe for them. This they kind of like um, oh, blacked out like most of their stuff and then sort of came back with this uh cypher hmm oh so a lot of it is also about like you know uh i don't know i guess this is like sort of them trying to like get off on a new foot and also like were they getting a lot of hate comments or was it just for turning a new leaf i don't know I'm mm. sure Cloud might might answer um, that. That's so. upsetting. That would not be cool though. A rebrand. Is it a rebrand? Yeah. Okay. Rebrand. Yeah, which, uh, which makes sense. And they did allude in uh, one of the lines in the verses, I think, from Karen, where she mentioned uh, the term nugudum, mm-hmm. which is a play on the the word nugu which in Korean just means, like, who, uh, which is, you know, a term, if anybody doesn't know, I'm sure everybody watching knows. A term that is kind of used, like, uh, in a derogatory sense sometimes to describe groups who, like, don't have a following or groups who are unknown. Um, so this, I think, is the beginning of their era where their next title track we're getting into is called Nugudum where they're sort of embracing it and kind of like taking back the power that is the word that I think that they feel has been used against them. Uh, Which I think is a cool concept. I think it's cool to like have something that I'm assuming something that they had, had been fighting against and, you know, being Mm. called and something that's been, you know, thrown at them for years, you know, Nugu, Nugu group, who is this? For them to like take it and be like, all right, we're gonna run with it. We're gonna make an album called Nugudum, or <laughs> called like XX or whatever they called it. Um, and I gotta see if I have it. I can show you the album cover where it's like, it's just a bunch of like graffiti and writing all over it of, of you know people of, of like, oh, who's Craxy, uh, Craxy who, like unknown, like all that kind of stuff, like stuff that they would. I guess get made because fun of for. yeah, there's like a whole following in K-pop that's specifically for Nugu groups, and it's like kind of that thrill of getting to know someone that isn't super popular get super popular. Like everyone's excited to see that growth. Sure, so yeah. um, if they don't reach that popularity by a certain amount of time, it's like, oh yeah, oh wow, okay, yeah, cool, that's sick. That's a pretty cool album design. Yeah. But some. yeah, so I like it. I like the idea. And also, all of those Nugu stands are really going to eat up the album and be like, oh my god, they made a, an album for us. <laughs> Delish. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, uh, just some, of, some of the things that are um, written on here, just to get an idea for anyone who couldn't see. I don't know if it's reversed. Um, it's kind of stuff that I think they're, they put on here a little bit like tongue-in-cheek. Like the kind of stuff that they, you know there's going to be supporters on Twitter saying all this kind of stuff. But then like, I I guess they're sort of asking like, well, you know, I I don't know. Some of the things written on here are, um, what are you doing in Nugudum? Uh, Nugu song of the year, get them out of Nugudum. Um, the Nugu group, uh, they were the nation's Nugu group. Um, 
sorry, a lot of it's hard to read because there's a giant X over the entire <laughs> phone. Uh, the current top nominees for the best Nugu artist. Oof. That's so shady. You know what I mean? It's like a little... Yeah. It's a little tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then Cloud also so. pointed out some other Nugu bands, which are Pixie, uh, Wua, Craxy, and Tribe. Shout out to Tribe. Yeah. And Pixie cover them here on the on the show but uh i i I, i'm glad you pointed that out alex because it's i find that very similarly to like metal music i feel like that's like i feel like that's like my version of new goose where like i feel like people just like if you went up to the street and you're like hey do you know this do you know this metal band and they're gonna be like no you know like and they're like wow you like metal music that's stupid you know i mean like so I, I can kind of find a lot of uh, can kind of find a lot of kinship in that. Uh, and honestly, it's been fun to cover Craxy as well, because I think it's like I want to be able to share like I wasn't like on board at first. But now I've like as we've been sitting here and listening through to all of them. Now I've kind of like grown to love them more and more. And I'll probably by the end of this, I'll be listening to Craxy a lot more, knowing that they are like one of those bands that is like a smaller group that you obviously hope like would get really, larger. Yeah. Like really putting in the work and like yeah. struggling to make it. You want to be able to help them out. So if you watch that's this, why I have three, that's why I have three copies of that album. Crack. See if you watch this, this would be cool. You know, just saying that. Oh yeah. Say hello. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, Therese, did you have any thoughts? I don't know if we gave you any time for that. So I wanted to give you your time. Oh, uh, yeah, I was mostly simping over Swan's emotional <laughs> outrage. Fair. Um, Facts. yeah. I mean, outside of that, I think it did its job to showcase each of the members. It was pretty, like, sad topics. Um, but I've actually heard a lot of that from K-pop now at this point because I've listened to a lot of K-pop. So mm. um, I I would be sad to hear that these were personal topics but um, they did a very good job expressing the emotion of these topics to whatever extent I know that by. So um, great, great job by them. Good performers all around, good actors. I, I was hoping that this song, this would be the one where you finally understand what I was talking about with Swan's vocals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I oh, see yeah. it. Uh, yeah. I think we both got it. We both looked at the camera and were like, swoon. Swoon for Swan. <laughs> anyway, sorry, that was a terrible dad joke. Um, and then <laughs> Cloud also said, we love New Goose. They they made better music than some of the bigger groups. So I'd agree to some to, to, to some capacity, yep. obviously. But um, the next one That's is... That's on the album cover somewhere. Oh, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, of course it sure. is. All right. Well, all right this next one up is uh, you know, the lead up to all that. Nugadum, this is the last title track that we've gotten from them, and this is the last title track we'll be listening to today. Oh, shit. Cool. All right, let's go. What is this, Squid Games? Yes. Okay. Where's that pink dress? <laughs> <laughs> Not that Squid Game. <laughs> Sexy Squid Games? Thank <laughs> you. 
That was great. 10 out of 10. Now that's a title song. That is a title That's a tag. title song. Wow. I do like how they keep like improving a bit more each song. <laughs> this one particularly, I was really impressed with Chae's vocals. Because yes. for a while I was like, it's very like, um, they were using her for a lot of the falsetto, a lot of the like yeah. softer songs. And this one she really like sung. Like she sang. And um <laughs> She has a good voice. I was worried a lot of times that usually comes with having a poor, not poor vocalist, but like someone that isn't as strong as Swan, let's say. So um, she definitely stepped up to the plate. And I also really liked the transition of uh, where Karen was rapping in that, like, uh, the, like the royal room. Break. Yeah. No, no, it was in the royal oh, room oh, okay. when they like way they like pan down and someone's face was in the scripts and <laughs> then they pan back up. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot I like about this, like the song yeah. and the video. Um, for one, like first thing I, I love is watching the dance practice from this. It, they don't do the best job of showing it, but so Karen has like that solo dance solo. Um, dance break and like the breakdown mm -hmm. yeah yep and then before it turn, it, it like has a little bit of a dance break and then it kind of drops and does that more dubstepy part she has this really cool move where she kind of like does this like while maintaining her head position does like a, a flip kind of Ooh. it's really weird Ooh. like does like it's more of like a rotation it's like a yeah, 360 yeah. but it's like while maintaining like her sort of head direction it's really cool she's a, a really awesome dancer to watch i wish they showed that a little bit better um, but production wise, this is like my favorite song. I think that Kevin has ever worked on. It's so mm -hmm. good. There's so many subtle differences in all, all like the, the drops, the choruses, um, Sterling pointed out, they sampled, uh, poor Ana Cabeza, uh, oh, Tango by Carlos. That's what that was. Cardell, mm -hmm. Which is like, there is such a... The, the chorus is a two-parter, right? You've got your 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 first like kind of sort of trappy 
EDM drop. Anti drop. <laughs> yeah. And then and then you've got this like really grand uh post chorus that comes in with like all the strings and the sample in it that is so emotional the way they sing it. And it 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 lends a lot to the message that they're conveying. That they're that, I mean the the message of the song is pretty much in the lyrics. It's just that they're they're never gonna stop, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you can call them Nugum, you can like put them down, they're never they're never gonna stop. Um, which I think like given the context of the previous cipher and like their position and, and the concepting around the album and, and stuff that I've seen their um team talk about like with preparing for this album, it, it carries a lot of weight to it. Um so I, I think the song was like the perfect vessel for their kind of like rebrand or kind of like what they wanted to get the get across message was. I would agree. I think Alex took literally all of my comments. Um, so I'm <laughs> gonna retweet Alex this time. Um, yeah. I yeah. This was just uh, like, it, and the one I kind of wanted to highlight the most is what you were saying about the previous song. I think it's Double X. I'm pretty sure. Um, like that song, listening to that song and then listening uh, new goo jump right after it, I think definitely like my chest started to hurt, you know, like I was like, damn, all right. like they were like, it was good. It was like very emotional. Like I think the, I think they conveyed the emotion very well. And I think it's like, you know, I can kind of find a lot of correlation in, into that because like for me doing YouTube for like almost eight years of my life. Like this, like this is something that I want to do for as long as I can do it for. So like, I kind of felt like that, that kinship of like, just keep doing it. Like eventually, people are gonna give a shit about what you do, and like, you know, you have to commit or believe in what you do, and like that the, the thing you're doing is like important, and whether or not like other people think it's important, like that's besides the point. I think if you feel like it's still important to you and you still care about it, then should keep going for it you know so thanks cracks do you for... feel like you're a nugu dumb i am do you need nu- two more subscribers to get to 3k oh, so, no, yes. <laughs> oh god therese what are you trying to do you're trying i feel like <laughs> therese is trying to pull up on a saturday to get yeah. fucking lit up if you're not if you're not subscribed to the audio addiction <laughs> oh YouTube, god oh you no. might it, i'm just saying if you go and check you might literally be the exact 3,000th person to do that. That's uh, it's, wor- it's worth cool. checking. I'm looking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. You actually will be. I'm, I'm not, not going <laughs> oh, to make anyone subscribe. Oh, I can't God, make anyone no. subscribe, but I'm saying. <laughs> not live on air. I'm gonna actually, cool. I'll actually cry. <laughs> um, oh. Uh, no. But, yeah, it's. Uh, I think, like I said, it, to me, it's like it spoke. I think this not only – musically was like just such a step up and i think like the like the way that the um the way that all of the like instrumentation like the the orchestral um and stuff like that i think that really pulls you in and like gives you all that extra emotion that i think fuels that the lyricism behind this song and like i just you know again it was a very like emotional song that i think hit did its job hitting who it needs to hit, you know? So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's 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 all I have to say. Like, I think that, uh, yeah, I would agree with Therese in that Che just crushed it on this song. Like, she mm-hmm. was like, she, it looked like she was, like, going to cry, like, in that mir- in oh, those, yeah. like, mirror shots. Constantly. I was like, bro, I'm like, is she going to cry right now? I'm going to start crying. <laughs> I'm a, I'll look at her, and I'll start crying. So, that was good. I yeah, also really like the nuka, nuka, dumb. Nuka. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Am I going to actually start saying that? Because, uh, I don't know. It, it could be misinterpreted. Could definitely be misinterpreted. Me. I get yeah. it. Yeah. So, but we have one um, more. There was there was one more thing I wanted to point out about the production that I forgot to mention when I okay. was talking. Shoot, Alex. Is, uh, in the build-up and the chorus, there is a guitar added into yes. the second in the second one only the, like rock there's also guitar? a really nice yeah solo it's, also, it's like a, like a ch- well no there's also like chugging there's like open yes palm yes music uh, yeah 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 but oh. there's even like some guitar leads in that like in yeah there's the like up. there's like yeah. a solo yeah i'm gonna watch the performance of this because it's really good we should now watch I'm it like after really this because we're like almost done. yeah we're gonna do it we're actually on the last one which is going to be no limit this is Ooh. another mixtape 
It is. Yep. So, all right. Let's hop into it then. Also, we're one follower away from 100 followers on, on Twitch here, so I don't know what that means, but... Shout out, follow. You could be 100. <laughs> This is a famous song too. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, nice sample. Changing in few situations, and you became another level from the bottom to the motherfucking top. I'm holding tower 1997. I'm a god of the dunk that they got on to me. That's my head. Burn it, Chimula. Coaching it, don't you go with my go to Himura. She could dump, dump in a bad to the best tail and I'll get a feel. No more. So we hang out one more. It's in a beam. You get to see me. I want to be me. I'm saying you didn't let me tell you. Then you go, what? Let it happen. Wow. That was, like little, <laughs> that was like a little rock track at the end. What the hell? Yeah. I felt <laughs> like I was like in I... Zoe, Zoe 101 <laughs> at first, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> that's, all of a sudden I was jamming pop. out. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought we were going to get rolling credits, you know, in our Twitch video. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was oh fun. Oh, God. Oh, that was that a fun was time. Awesome. I just like how, I, you know what I was surprised about? I was surprised that they cursed. Like I don't think I've heard any K-pop. Um, they've cursed, cursed before. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, <laughs> we heard no, 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 curse no, no, no. I know they have cursed before. I'm saying just in general. I don't think I've I don't think I've heard any other K-pop groups that we've listened to that's cursed, unless I'm mis- Were you not mistaken. Listening? <laughs> no. I don't think probably you not. <laughs> Who else cursed, Therese? But there's a lot of cursing going on all the time. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Maybe not. I, maybe you haven't heard much because we have listened to a lot of title tracks, ah. and like it's typically not too. They kind of keep it clean. Tracks. They keep it clean. It's like I, I but, guess I would attribute it to like a radio ed- edit. You know, like how you can have like yeah. we were talking about the other night with like seven. You know, like that one's like. <laughs> obviously, you can't say fuck, but like you. Know, <laughs> but you can maybe you can say another uh... word. <laughs> That's not fuck. <laughs> Yeah, with, totally. With like, with the like, entire like, song, ugh, totally not as good. Not yeah, sexual now. <laughs> yeah, totally not. <laughs> Definitely not. It's but like, yeah, that was a fun song. Good song. Listen to more cursing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've I mean, listen to more a lot cursing, of cur- All right, I'll I'll make sure to point. It. I'll be like, yeah. So there was this one part in the rap where they said shit, and I really enjoyed that part. <laughs> And only that part. <laughs> What's your favorite curse word? Yeah. Um, I think it's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Um, That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is, I didn't this think is I was going to get roasted for this. Thank you, Therese. I appreciate it. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, you're not listening. <laughs> All right, sorry. I'll make sure to... No, it's fair, fair. You're not listening to the lyrics. That's the correct way to listen to K-pop. <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting for a K-pop uh, song that's just them all, just every other word is just a curse word. <laughs> Then I'll actually listen. I'll be like, wow, they said fuck like 70 times. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, seven yeah, is close. Seven. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Seven, yeah. Seven, yeah. That's true. Facts. Anyway, totally Alex. The chorus. <laughs> I know. Uh, I have one. No, I was going to say. Cloud, Cloud's giving you some, uh, some <laughs> good. Yeah, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to read. We'll uh, hear a lot from G-Idol. That's for sure. Hell yeah. Let's yeah. go. Tomboy from yeah. G-Idol. They curse, but Wednesday, we're not going to hear the curse version Aww. because they censored it. Well, censorship <laughs> sucks. You're the one booing G Idol, not me. I hey, oh. I didn't say G. <laughs> Wait, I was no, booing take it back, G. Take it back. Take it. I wasn't booing. I, yeah, I'll, I'll retract my boo on G Idol. But I will say it should not be censored, though. That's what I'm saying. That, I'm right. booing. There's also, the um, there's also a really good B side from a Seraphim called No Celestial, where they drop the the big old F word. That Pretty big hard. old F word. Uh, Friends? Yeah, in the oh, chorus. Shit. And it's so good, but they, but the censored version and the, the version they perform, they say freaking. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh, man. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like only Wait. the physical CD version that has the, the actual curse word. Did you guys go over Soyeon in your uh, solo no, I group? Did. Oh, no. damn. Because she has this one song that's so sick, and it's literally called uh, Is This the Bad Jelly? Bitch Number? Oh, oh my God. Yeah, we <laughs> should, is we This should. Bad Bitch Number? Oh, I love oh, that. That's hard. Anyway, we're getting wildly that off is topic. A, <laughs> that is a trip. Yeah. We'll have to find. We'll anyway. we'll have to do a. Sh- Maybe we'll do it on our like K-pop like celebratory stream where we find like the worst <laughs> curse that's, words. That's a good. That's a good drinking stream song. That would be funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, I no. I think song. we should just we should just get a we should just get a barometer for which songs have like the worst version of like cursing in well, it. We're gonna like, we're gonna put a, we're gonna do like a spin the wheel and and it's, we're gonna do a uh, take oh, a God. take a sip for every curse word. And when we, when we land on that song, that's going to be what does me. You're fucked. Yeah. 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 You, guys, you guys are going to be like this. And I'm going to be like, so I have to close out the stream. So guys, thank you for joining us. You can I make a take, whole drinking game around that song. I have to take Alex to the hospital. Yeah. Let's do it. I can't fly um, to Florida to Therese. So. All right. Let's get back on topic. Craxy here. You're right. Craxy. 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 Anyone got um, thoughts? I personally, I loved Karen's whisper rap. I think. Oh is, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I think that is good. I think Wildly whoever underrated. whoever decided to have her do that instead of just coming in normally, Chef's kiss, amazing yeah. idea. She, I don't know, she something something different about Karen when she's like eye contact with the the camera, whisper rapping, crazy. Um, I also think the same thing about Swan in this one, where like. I don't know what it is about her vocals. Just every time I hear her sing and belt, it's like emotional. And that's why she gives me those same like I get I don't know if it's a good comparison or not, but I get the same feeling when I listen to like Wasa like sing and belt on like those kind of tracks. Fair enough. She's got a I lot can of, see like, the similarities now. Mm-hmm. Got a lot like a lot of power and a lot of emotion in mm-hmm. the voice. Um super fun vocalist, I think, to especially when she like pops off on tracks. Um, Che's part was cool. I think it was, the, the change up was a little abrupt. It was, <laughs> um, but it's but it's a cipher or a mixtape. So I, yeah. I guess what are you what are you gonna do? Oh, the yeah. rap was hard. Else I love the rap. the The rapping was awesome. Uh, I think it was like every every bit of angsty energy I was expecting from from this group that they like formulated in this cipher. And then the other part was like. As uh, Therese mentioned, I felt like I was in, you know, an extra in a Zoe's 101 episode. So that was great. Still Heavy vibe. Zoe 101 influence. Still, still I, I still, still love vibe. it. Great Every song. time the theme song comes on, I'm jamming. Yeah, it's. I think it fits Jay. I think for sure my bias is Heijin. <laughs> I think for sure I was like, yep. Okay. Yes. Yep. <laughs> this one. It's that one. I want more. I can, um, I can see it. She's very well-rounded. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. Um, some comments, uh, 
Cloud said the G Idol tomboy uh, they censored the word, which we already talked about. Um, Crusoe said uh, there's technically an uncensored version of Tomboy that was released on the disc, which can be found on YouTube. Obviously, not MV version. Um, and then uh, Cloud also rebuttaled and said that uh, he's accidentally played the uncensored version. So that's funny. No, they <laughs> they played the uncensored version. Oh, on oh. Variety show. oh, yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, let's go. And and the the girls, the look on their Fuck. faces of pure like panic Oop. and like, oops, <laughs> did anyone hear that? It was really funny. <laughs> did I say yeah. that? Did I say that? <laughs> like, no, oops, that's not G-Idle. That g Idol's <laughs> like, oh well. <laughs> g Idol's like, yeah, fuck, baby, let's go. I am so excited for this stream. Uh, yeah. Wednesday, baby. Wednesday g Idol time. So We're finally excited. doing it. I can't wait to rewatch Tomboy. It's been so long since I've watched that music video. <laughs> Alex, are we doing, uh, what was the song you wanted to do for the performance? It was the last one, right? Oh, let's just watch the, um, the, Dance Nugadum. practice or perf- or performance of Nugadum, yeah. Do it. Oh wow, there's a Nugadum reaction video. Wow, that's crazy. It's almost like <laughs> they're doing the same thing. Uh, practice. KBS Music Bank. Is there no dance practice? Let's see. I like watching the. Oh, Is okay. This one? Yeah. That one, Alex? Or the Tom. moving. Which one? Oh, there is a uh, fixed version Nugadum dance practice. Do you want the fixed or the moving? Um, I don't know, Therese. What do you think? Do you moving. Prefer... All right. Moving. Yeah, moving I like when they fun. focus. <laughs> <laughs> I like when they focus on All the numbers. Right. We'll do moving then. I feel like I'm moving with them. Can you full screen it for me on your end? right about Che's vocals sounding so good in that chorus.
<laughs> so high. That's sick. I love when the dancers hype them up. <laughs> just the plop sound oh my god all of them falling over at the end that's great oh uh, i usually awesome. don't watch dance practices because i'm not a fan of the sneaker squeaking and i'm not a fan of like the loud sound effects of other things that are happening <laughs> but i really like when they hype up the members i think that's a really good time that was great yeah that was fun they definitely, I, I'll I'll double down. I I think that they their performance is like made oh, me love yeah. them that much more. Dude, Karen is such show. a captivating performer oh, to watch. She's great. They all are. Like but I'm she, like, oh. she specifically for me is such a good center for like <laughs> choruses or for like those dance breaks and stuff. I'd say Che too. Che like you could tell like she was like pulling into like pulling into the camera and stuff i was like damn okay she, <laughs> she had those um parts of the post chorus where it's like she had i think multiple parts where she was like kind of on her knees doing yeah like, the whole that's what i said like, like, like yeah she was like, like fleeing like, dance move yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. Uh, i was like damn with her vocals that hits my heart and you're telling me she's not in the group anymore <laughs> yeah sorry to say she oh, got oh, they use her booted. so much oh, no. She okay. got booted from the group. I'm trying not to get emotionally I'm a, attached, I'm a, even though you told uh, yeah. us this. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That was, a, <sighs> that was a real L take, Bruce. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very. Uh, the people are not happy about it. I Yeah, I don't I blame you. That I am, we are well, people. <laughs> especially because like most of the time, most of the time when you hear about somebody leaving a group, you either hear that they have decided to leave or like something has happened where like they the can't company do it and them have yeah. have have split ways it's really rare to to get a statement that says um che has been removed from craxy like to explicitly say that it was a company decision Aww. and like not like a mutual decision uh did not sit well with a lot of people Poor cloud. And you could tell, you could tell at KCon, <clears throat> and you could tell at like their um, appearances after that it was just like affecting them. So. Oof, that hurts. Damn. Well, yeah, <laughs> feels yeah. bad. Sweet, sweet. Nugadum growing to be my favorite Craxy track for sure. I think it's my favorite. It's I, good. It's my favorite. Yeah. Poison Rose got that piano though. Poison, <laughs> Poison Rose is a very close second though. I will say, yeah. yeah, I I I will say it was cool to see their journey. Um, I think that they, as predicted, I feel like they're uh like they improved so much over like their their like we completed the story arc. You know what I mean? They finally we finally made it to the end yeah. of the game and we've completed it. Yeah. You know? So, um. Yeah, I think it's it'll be interesting to see where they go now because obviously you know um, they lost Che, but um, it'll, yeah, I think that yeah, I think it'll be an interesting see what's gonna happen next with this group, and you know, love to catch up with them once they have something new coming out. Uh, I do feel bad for Cloud. Cloud said that Che was his bias, so damn. Poor I'm one so out. sorry. Maybe damn. she'll go for solo. Yeah. We can't add him out. We can't. We can't add it on. Maybe she got note, removed guys. from the group so that she could be so. Damn. <laughs> Riding I know that's solo. not how it works, but. <laughs> Oof. That's sad. Wow, you really ended that. Ended that on a Debbie Downer. Well, anyway. I'm well, if they like... didn't remove her. Let's... Where's my pitchfork? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get our pitchforks ready. <laughs> we're gonna go travel over to we're gonna show up in bruce's family vlog yeah bruce what the yeah, hell <laughs> come on i'm a youtuber too so let's go yeah. i'll find you yeah not in a terrifying way i just have some questions you know 
Um, no, I... Uh, Thank you for no, Craxi, showing us, Alex. Craxy was great. Salutes to Alex for picking Craxy. Um, for those who didn't hear, we are doing G Idol on Wednesday at 8. I hope you guys are excited for cursing and more cursing <laughs> and some K-pop. And did I mention cursing? <laughs> cursing, too. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I have overhyping. <laughs> I, I was just we, kidding. We may we may not hear any actual cursing. Damn it! Oh, want to hear some cursing? But it's bro. there in spirit. <laughs> it's there in spirit. <laughs> the spirit. I'll feel of yeah. I'll feel the part where I'm like, yeah, they used a curse word there. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, guess I hear the, so young guess in the, the recording word. room, <laughs> cursing. That's what I should do. <laughs> guess what? Use the word they used to curse with. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then as well as that, if you missed our last stream, uh, if you are the lucky winner who is going to get us to 3000 subs on YouTube, uh, I'm going to be doing something really bad that may or may not make both, uh, Therese and Alex drunk. So, <laughs> well, you said you're doing a game. Remember you're doing a drinking game. Alex doesn't remember the shit. Therese remembers. Maybe. I, I remember know. we came up with a couple ideas. We're doing K K pop or cap, right? That's was that was the first one. I've started making a list of groups, Oh god. So. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't like Perfect. I don't like this, <laughs> Mr. Stark. <laughs> K pop or cap. Uh, oh, no. where we will get Brendan to guess which is an actual K pop group or which is cap. <laughs> and we will come up with K pop group names slash concepts to damn stump him with <laughs> cloud was like cloud was like by the way today craxy next g idol who is the next group who lost a member are you going to check out next oh my god <laughs> so rude Cat. uh and we actually did probably accurate kids. we did do <laughs> yeah we did do characters, we did so. pixie, we did do pixie. Oh, Man. i was still clear right didn't they have a scandal I was clear. No, La Seraphim had a scandal. Seraphim's not clear. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and we will be doing <laughs> we will be doing them. I want to do Nmix. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe that might be a Monday yeah. one. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, thank you guys for. I don't know if we have anything else we're gonna delve into. I think that's it. That's our that's our yeah. Craxy stream for tonight. So thank you for hanging yeah. out with us. If you are new. And you fall and you found us on Twitch. Make sure to hit the follow button. I am like one follower away. Thank you for all the followers that had followed me prior to last stream. Thank you, much love. We're now a Twitch affiliate apparently, so that's very sick. Uh, and uh, we're yeah. also at th almost 3K on YouTube, so that's wild. So thank you, much much love. Go subscribe. I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> <laughs> If, it, if someone actually K. does it on stream, get him out of Nugu Dumb. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> no! Don't <laughs> you're gonna pour one out for me? Oh my God! <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for watching, Cloud. Thank you for hanging out, Crusoe. Hope you come back in the next one. We'd love to see you. Um, and anybody watching this in the past, uh, much love and uh, huge thanks to Therese and Alex for doing these with me. Much love. Thank you, Alex. And, and we'll see you uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. For G Wednesday, Idol. October 25th, 8 p.m. EST. Let's Get go. Let's go. G Idol, baby. All right. See you guys later. Woo. Later.